Hi, today's video is going to introduce you to some um, op beginning observation uh, techniques which are used to understand children's play in early childhood education and of course its relationship to learning. We're going to cover five techniques in today's session and you're going to be using them in uh, Canvas as you look at a series of different videos uh, of children's play which are accessible to you in Canvas and in the assessment uh, file. You can go in and you can search through those uh, videos. You can enter into the room and see what it is that you want to focus on. There are five techniques, event recording, time sampling, duration recording, running records and narrative. And we want you to take this opportunity uh, through the second week of your course to uh, experiment with all of these as you try them out uh, in the uh, settings where you have the video for. Each one has a different purpose. An event recording, to start with, records an event. So you've got an example there from the Podmore and Lint reading. Uh, where you can see that they have developed, preset, pre-developed some coding criteria and then they have um, developed written uh, short excerpts when, they, when, when those particular events are seen um, and perhaps put some time on. Time sampling is the second technique and this one records over time so you would draw up a sheet with time intervals so here we've got every 15 minutes um, and again looking at a specific criteria. Here they're looking for cooperative play by child. So uh, you can choose um, how you, what you actually look for around notions of play and based on the things that you think are important. The third technique is called a duration recording and it is what it says. It records durations of time. So again you're going to have some criteria that you select um, and with the, with the criteria that you would code against time and you're going to look at how long things happen for so this might be a great way of looking at certain play contexts so how long is a child playing in the play-doh how long is a, play, a child playing in dramatic play and so on the next uh, technique is called a running record this is a much more detailed, I've only given you a short excerpt here, but it's a much more detailed form of recording. You record every little detail. You set the scene with the date, the children, the time, the weather, that's important, their ages or age if it's an individual child, and you would record in absolute detail. This one you would not do over such a long period of time. Here you see that it's been over 10 minutes and that will be plenty for a running record. A narrative recording on the other hand might record over a longer period of time and in early childhood context it might even record over days or weeks. A narrative is what it says it is, it's a story and it's written in first person. So it's a very different way of uh, going about a recording. Um, as opposed to the running record which is very fine-tuned detail. So you have uh, th five different techniques there. The first three are what we call quantitative techniques and the, the last two are what we call qualitative. So what are you going to do with those observations once you have them? Well for the quantitative uh, methods, techniques, you're going to count the frequency. So you're going to count up how many times whatever criteria you cho chose occurred. You might represent that in a bar graph or a pie graph. Or if you were using a narrative or a running record, you would be generating themes and insights that come out of that. Things around the topic of play that you're looking for, particularly around belonging, that you think are interesting and important in relation to children's learning. Once you have your individual observations, you're then going to link them to the early years learning framework and to scholarly readings about play and belonging. And this is done in a, in a summary statement that brings all, all of your chosen three observations together. I can't emphasize enough 
the importance of looking at the matrix which is available to you in Canvas at the end of the assignment criteria. That is what will be used for marking. So good luck guys. Uh, have fun out there playing with, uh, playing with play, understanding children's learning through observation. Bye.